Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode. It's right, you can do that if you want. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the second episode on the Audi. We're gonna lift it now, see what's going on underneath and see if it's worth trying to get it MOT'd and sold on, if I can make any money on it for charity. So let's see. When I drove into your yard, which has got a few holes, I could really? hear some knocks. I'd have, yeah. There oh, were yeah. some knocks which to me sounded like anti roll bar, but yeah, whatever. Be Here's the, the first look over. Can you see anything bad apart from obviously we got some diesel leaking out, which we knew about? And, you told me. And I think you've been ripped off. Yeah, I have, haven't I? Yeah, because it says Quattro on the dashboard, but yeah. there's no, no drive, there's nothing. Oh, it isn't a Quattro <laughs> no. then. That's what I wondered about that. So it's just a Quattro sticker. Yeah. John, that's outrageous. I'm massively disappointed. Somebody's, they have been here. They put new pads in. Right. So this is the one that's binding, right? Yeah, and this is new pads. You can see the new bolts that come with the new pads. Okay. And you can see the pads are pretty thick, so. So that's good. It's got new pads, but this one's binding. So does, it isn't binding badly at the moment, though, is it? It's not binding badly. All right. I mean, it's averagely crusty, everybody, but this is all surface rust. It's not bad. That's coming out nicely. Yeah. Says so the caliper. Hang on. Let's throw some shit on there. <laughs> I love the technical terms that you uh, <laughs> that you employ. It's always good seeing a master at work. Uh, I can see what it feels like. So is it the internal mechanism then to the caliper, That's which is happens. which is basically so it's coming back now. A bit more. I think it could be loosened up. Coming back more, but yeah, we need to see it's not going as far as it used to. I'm basically pumping it out now for the pads to go. You might need to push the foot on the brake. It's working, man. We need to pump the brakes a bit more. Go do that, okay? We yeah, you need to pump the brakes to push the piston out as hard as you can, yeah, and then it should adjust up like, like that one automatically, okay. So what I thought it was the diesel leak. See? That's wow, fine. could it just be that? It's fuel pipes, yeah, they're rusty. Okay, so what hold you, on. What you need to do... Hold on, this is one leak, but that's the yeah. bad ones on the other side, so there's more that. than one leak. Yeah. So, but this looks like it's right, it, it's leaking from here. That, that there's a split in that pipe there where it's been... That's definitely diesel. Yeah. yeah. So, but you, this... You, you'd have to cut it off here. Yeah. Skin off this crap. Yeah, and then do another joint. And do another, you might have to get another. Well, take the tube nut out there yeah. if it comes out. Make another brake pot, uh, like a, an end. Yeah. So you can put another hose. Okay. That's all right. For a while, that's all soft. Yeah. These bushes shit themselves, they're fine. Yeah. And okay. okay. I'll give my lever bar on them in a bit. Yeah. Those are all right. Yeah. The union looks a bit iffy, but we can just wire brush it, yeah. clean it up. The brake pipes are all fine still. Brake pipes are all good. So brake pipes are not perished, which is good. <coughs> is that an MOT failure? Yep. It is? Yep. Oh, of course, it's open. Ooh, this flexi's a bit, uh, see? Yeah. That's cattled. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of play. What is that? The... Wheel talk. bearing? No. What's that? It's the steering rack bolt. Yeah. That gate is also cattle, do you see? Yeah. Would that be an MOT failure though? I don't think it might be an advised that because it's yeah. so minor that. Because it's so minor. That yeah. may be though why I found I thought the steering was a little bit vague. So yeah. that may be why Probably. put the play in there. Probably same this side. It's about the same, yeah? Yeah, definitely that. Definitely. Okie doke. Yeah. Right, no, it's definitely not a basket case. 
it's, it's, it's not bad, it's pretty it's solid. Pretty, it's definitely solid. Good tyres, good wheels, brakes good all round. Does it have yeah. new pads and discs? You were yeah, saying it's, it's pretty it's new, yeah? Pretty new, the new, there's definitely new pads. Okay. As we saw by the rear with those yeah. new bolts and everything. And there's no lip on the discs, no. so it looks no. like they're pretty good. Yeah. Okay, any other good stuff about it? Well, the dash hasn't gone like the normal Audi dash goes, yeah. where half the writing disappears yeah. and yeah. everything, so that's spot on. Yeah. Okay. And there's no major corrosion. I mean, there's surface no. rust over a few ancillaries, but there's yeah. no major corrosion chassis no. or anything that we no, could no body see. Rest. No body okay. Rest, yeah. Uh, so that's the good stuff, right? And I mean, I've driven it. It drives. It drives pretty well, really. I mean, it'll get you where you need to go. Uh, I don't know for how long, but <laughs> at the moment, it'll get you where you need to go, and it drives <laughs> like a normal car. So that's pretty good. Things we have found that um, that need doing. So, do you want to just go through the list of what we had and what we found? Well, we freed up the rear brake caliper, which was good because a bit more spray on it, and so that's ace. So the rear yeah. caliper looks like you can get away with just freeing it up a bit more, pumping the brake and freeing it, and good. Yeah. So that's free. Awesome. Yeah, brilliant. Um, two drive shaft boots. Okay, they both need doing. Yeah, we had a look, and one of them's properly split, yeah, and the other one's close to being split. Grease everywhere. So yeah, they need doing. So in terms of costs. Two hours, two and a half hours labour. And parts? About ten quid ish. Okay. For the, for the gators. And then what else? Three ball joints. One and a half hours, thirty quid parts. Okay. So, what else was it? Lower suspension arms. One hour to do that, fifty quid the part. Yeah. Fuel leaks, that could be a bit tricky, so we've, worst case, we've Hour and a half, ten quid's worth of parts. Not much parts. It's just mainly time. But this is the this is the fuel leak we could see. The one we could see, yes. And then there was the other one we couldn't see, yes. and that could be an hour. Which or we need to just dig into. We just don't know. We'd have to have a look. Okay. Yes. yes. And then the front brake pipe flexies. Yeah. They're absolutely cattle. Okay. So that's about an hour and a half and twenty quid's labour because, well, it's well they might be seized on the on the actual main brake pipes themselves, so you just okay. quote worst case. So let's just add that up, that's uh, 2.5, uh, so that's 4 hours, 5 hours, 8 hours of labour. A day's work. Hours of labour, and then in parts we've got 30, 80, 110, about 110 quid. So at this point, it was all looking a little bit sketchy. I paid £200 to get the car up here. If it was then going to cost another five or 600 to fix it up, you're getting close to £800 in costs, and it means that there's just no money left, really, in profit towards this donation to charity. So I was sort of minded to maybe just scrap it and give whatever I get for that to charity, but then I thought, hold on a minute, it's a good car. It's not a bad car at all. And it'd be just such a shame to just sort of chuck it away. I think it could still provide some good use for somebody. So what I think I'm going to do is I will basically scrap the money I've already put into it. So the £200 to get here, that will go. And it's just my own sort of uh, contribution. That means the car is back to zero. I think that between me and Anton, if I do a couple of jobs as well, we can get it all fixed up for sort of £400, something along those lines maybe 500, and there should still be meat for some profit in there. So I think we are going to try and go ahead and, and, and fix it up. One thing I was going to say is that a few of you um, put in your comments that you wanted to contribute to this project. Normally, I never ask for money for my own project, um, but this obviously isn't for my benefit. So if you do want to contribute, it would be much, much uh, appreciated, and it will all go towards that final profit tally. So it will all end up going to charity. I have set up a Patreon account just for this project. The link is in the video description, so if you want to donate, that would be fantastic. Um, really look forward to seeing you all for the next video, and hopefully we'll be able to get this, um, this Audi back on the road and ready for someone to enjoy in, not too, in the not-too-distant future.